guys welcome back to my channel so it's been a few days since i posted a video but i've been busy at work filming so you guys are gonna get a few videos over the next couple days for sure so i decided that there was a few things that i've been kind of putting on my back burner like the end of my to-do list and i decided that today was the day that i was going to tackle them and one of them was my refrigerator and it's a little embarrassing but the inside of this thing is pretty gross and I really think it's because I tend to use and clean out all of these like organizers but then the shelving part of the refrigerator and the part on the door kind of get neglected because I just don't think about it as much since all of my things are mostly sitting in those containers so I started out by emptying out the refrigerator just getting everything out and I recently made the change to start using some more natural cleaners and I will be sharing some recipes of the cleaners that I'm making over the next couple of weeks. But today you're going to see me just kind of improvising and using what I had on hand. So um, I put some oil drops in the refrigerator before I wipe it out and I use On Guard, which is basically a blend that kills pretty much everything. It has the power to disinfect and just get everything really clean. I'm also using my Norwex cloths and I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about those as well in the next coming weeks. I've had a lot of questions about those over the years and I just never took the time to explain how they really work and how they really do remove 99% of bacteria and debris on your surfaces. So be on the lookout for that. It's really interesting and it's fun to watch because you can visually see with a black light what it's removing and how well of a job it does. So what I am doing is I'm taking my Enviro cloth and I'm wiping out off the shelving and then I'm taking my window cloth, which is basically like a polishing cloth and going over the shelving again, just to make sure that it's like streak free and really shiny looking. The other thing that's awesome about Norwex is you can use it along with oils. So they're like a match made in heaven and they're really great to clean with. I've been using both of these things for a very long time and I just would swap back and forth between doing that and all other natural cleaners and I really did some digging on some of those natural cleaners I was using and realizing that they do have a lot of hidden chemicals. So I just want the cleanest thing that I can get that does the best job and just not to compromise our immune systems during this time of um, yeah, sickness that's going around. So once I had everything wiped out in the refrigerator and with my Enviro cloth and my polishing cloth, I went ahead and kind of went through all of my things, kind of rearranging them. We had stockpiled a little bit. So I was kind of making everything fit back in in a more orderly manner than what was going on. And I had actually done this to my pantry the day before, just kind of reevaluating everything I had and just going through everything again.
These organizers really do help me keep things orderly in my refrigerator and I will leave a link in the description box for them. They are off of Amazon and um, if you buy them in this, this kit, it really makes them inexpensive versus buying them individually. They can get kind of pricey. And I believe the containers with the handles are from the container shop. Either way, I will look and try to find a link for them as well. Next, I unloaded my dishwasher and once in a while, I would, I don't know what happens, but sometimes it doesn't do the dry setting and then I end up with some wet <laughs> cups and things like that. So that's why you'll see me wiping some of that stuff down. And um, another question I get all the time, and I've said this before in cleaning videos, but people ask if my dishes get clean because I pile my dishwasher so full. And this dishwasher is so old, but it works so good. It's literally the best dishwasher I've ever had. And I've had like one with a stainless steel interior, you know, a more top of the line kind of dishwasher. And this thing works so good. I can pile it as full as I want to. And pretty much everything comes out clean and it's really loud. It's like one of those old rattly dishwashers, but I wouldn't trade it because it just does such a good job. So I've been working on making my own cleaners, like I mentioned, and in this spray bottle I just sprayed the counter down with is one of those mixtures. I'm kind of perfecting um, what I wanna use on different things. So as I figure out what works best for me, I will share those things with you. And you guys, look at this. So we've lived here like six months and I'm pretty sure that this refrigerator was here during the whole time that the previous tenant was here and that sticker was still stuck on the refrigerator. It was pretty satisfying to pull off, but now it's nice and shiny on the front. I always wondered why it looked so odd. Now I know. Again, I just put a few drops of On Guard inside of the microwave just to get it nice and fresh and cleaned out.
As you guys know, I do a lot of ordering off of Amazon and in the description box is always my Amazon shop. I try to keep up with it and put things in there um, that I talk about because it helps you guys be able to find the links faster. But I wanted to add a little note just because I've realized that this has been happening a lot to me lately. So a lot of times on Amazon right now, the delivery date is pretty far out. It can be like even two weeks out. And so far, pretty much everything that I've ordered in the last week um, or so, it's never come that far out. Like it might be four days, but it's never as far as the date that's on there. I don't know that this is like a true rule of thumb that you could run by all the time, but just keep that in mind. I've noticed how much it's gotten here a lot faster than what it says it will on the product. All right, so this is my Norwex mop and um, I've done a little bit of tweaking. I had gotten frustrated with it a while back and went to using my spin mop again, but I've learned a little bit better way to use this and it really makes my floor feel so much cleaner than the spin mop does. The spin mop, I feel like leaves behind a residue, whereas the Norwex mop picks up what's on the floor and leaves it really clean. And what I did this day is I actually put a few drops of lemon oil and my kitchen smelled so good when I was done mopping. So after dumping some food out of the refrigerator into my disposal, it smelled a little funky. So I had an old lemon that was definitely could not be used and I just chopped it up and threw it into the disposal and it took care of the problem. Also, I've been getting questions about the gray little strainer thing that I put over my sink and where it's from. It's actually from Ikea. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me Oh, I wanted to give you guys an update about that little air purifier that's next to our bed, which by the way, I'm still waiting for my friend to make our nightstands, but that little air purifier, so I did a test. So I was running it every night because we have such bad pollen right now. And um, it really, you know, I couldn't, I don't know. I felt like it was helping, but I couldn't say for sure. So I decided one night to sleep without it running and oh my goodness, I woke up the next morning and was so congested and I was like, I could definitely tell a huge difference. So if you were on the fence about getting that air purifier, I highly recommend it. It really does help, especially if you deal with allergies. Remember I was laughing in all the photos that you took. But now it looks like acting Like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me Okay, so this is the Norwex dusting mitt, and if you caught that, I actually rubbed it up against my shirt, and that is because it works with static electricity. So you can actually use two of these mitts and rub them together, um, but they do come as one, they don't come as a set, so the easiest way with having one is just to rub it up against your clothes, and it will help the mitt pick up the dust.
Wanna shake the ground Wanna break away, let loose I'm tired of waiting Gotta make that move All the neon signs Now they shout to me all right, you ready to see the dust there? And if you can see, it's a little bit yellow. That is pollen from outside. And this thing is seriously the best. I had one that I used for years and somehow lost it. And so I recently just got this one and I'm so glad because I've definitely missed having a dusting mitt. It does such a good job at picking up the dust. With being home all the time right now, I am trying my very best to stay on top of my daily cleaning routine. Just doing a load of laundry every day like this, folding it, putting it away, and you know, loading, unloading my dishwasher every day. Um, just the things that keep, I don't know, keep me sane. And I highly encourage that you do that as well. Just get yourself in a daily routine so that you're not going crazy with everybody being home all the time and you can do it a little bit at a time and not overload yourself with a big pile every single week if you're doing it on one day. Anyways, I hope this gave you a ton of motivation. Thanks so much for watching and hit the subscribe button if you're new here and I'll see you guys in my next video.